Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to talk about a distal tib fib. We're going to talk about a superior glide. Kind of unique. We don't typically do that. We usually do anterior and posterior. But a superior glide is important. Some of you had an ankle sprain. Sometimes you might have the whole fibula gets pulled distally. And sometimes you actually have symptoms here. Or you might have somebody who has a common peroneal nerve issue from a traction type of uh, situation. So the way we do that is we here's the bottom part of the fibula. We go between, in our hand, we go between the two. It's what we call it the non-eminence. You got the thenar and hypothenar and right in between. So the distal part of the fibula fits right in. So we come in through here and we come onto it. This hand is here to support. And what we do is we take our hand, it's almost like you're making a little bit of a, a fist or a, you're, you're flexing your fingers a little bit. And you're just doing that glide. And you'll see if I take up the slack and do a little bit of a spring, it has a little bit of that spring. If it didn't have it, I'll make it up as I try. So if I try to push on it, sometimes it won't move at all. And we know that's a, it's hypomobile. And again, the technique to, to utilize it would be come in, we test it, doesn't move, we could just hold it. We could hold it for time, right? We could hold 10 seconds in a row. We could hold up to, sometimes people do up to a couple of minutes type of thing. Or we could do an oscillation. It's end range, oscillate for 30 seconds and come back down. And then when we're done, we again retest our range of motion for ankle inversion. Eversion tends to go more superior, so a lot of times those people will miss that eversion type of motion. Okay, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.